We are at the 2024 PGA Show. We're gonna find and test and let you know what we think is the best driver of this year. Let's go. All right, we got the Zexio uh, Prime 10.5 loft and uh, regular, like, that's what you're getting. When you get a Zexio, it's gonna be light, more regular flex shaft. So I am going to try to swing this like about an 80 mile an hour swing. Let's see what type of performance we get out of her. Kind of got this offset face, kind of like a hook face you could call it. Okay, if you, if you need just a little help getting it down there, this is easy to swing. Now, what happens when you put the full swing into it? We'll see. The sound is, um, if you swing all out, the sound's horrible. If you just need, if you have no swing speed, and you're just kind of like this, that's a 200 yard shot right down the middle, a little cut every time. So if that's the kind of golf you need, then Zexio, in my opinion, on a scale of one to 10, for that person who needs uh, some help, 8.5, 8.5. All right, guys, this video is brought to you by our friends here at Seven Diamonds. Let me show you this real quick. Look, if you're looking for a little extra warmth in between season stuff, I have like eight of these guys. Nice little vest, put this puppy on. Warmth and cool all at the same time. What do you think? Seven Diamonds, link below. Back to the video. Okay, we have Cobra Dark Speed here. And um, it is dark, but is it fast? That's what we're about to find out. I mean, everybody's going with the matte look. I love that. Carbon fiber face, waiting technology. I haven't hit them. We're gonna hit them right now. Fastest driver you got. Yeah, so we'll go with the LS, because that's the one that we had the most aerodynamic okay. kind of features to it. So. Okay, the, we got the LS, low spin, dark speed. Look at that, I love the head. There's a small profile, I love that. I, yeah, I don't like the drivers when they get too giant. All right, this is great. We have TrackMan technology, so we can give you some numbers. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that feels good. That feels really good. 102 club speed, 152. All right, that's kind of my fairway finder right there. All right, that was a toe hit. That was a good miss. 246 carry, 270. That's pretty good off the toe. Review, Cobra Dark Speed LS model. 60S shaft. I love the look, love the sound, love the feel, love the performance. 9.1 on the driver scale, 9.1 Cobra. That's probably my favorite Cobra driver that I've seen in years, so gotta give him to it. Give him credit where credit is due. Dark speed, thumbs up. Warming up, all right, I'm in the long drive contest. I've been practicing. I just got here though. I did the golf forever warm up, but we're ready. Nah, I missed it. This is 250. All right, I totally missed it. Hooked it. How far? All right, I missed it both of those. All right, here we go. That's pretty good. 292. 292, that's pretty good. That's not bad. This guy's up for the uh, long drive contest here. <laughs> it's 121 miles an hour. That's fast. 302. High cuts, guy. He's hooking him a little bit. He's, he's a stiffer shaft. Ah. 311. 311.4. 311, pretty good, pretty good. We'll walk by again. Yeah. This is the Cobra Dark Speed X. So if you're not the LS, that's you know probably your higher end player. This would be more of the average player, middle of the road, little larger face, little bit more forgiveness. I still love the look, it's not too big. We'd have to dial in a little bit more something. Oh, I like that. That was nice, that was a cutter. Okay, that's good too. I'm glad I hit that one. That's a toe shot at 248 carry. So we're still getting good performance off the toe shot. They both work great. I do like the um, LS profile better. This is a little like thinner on the top. 
has, but longer on the back. Great performance either way. You're not gonna go wrong. They both look incredible looking down, top down. I'd say this is equivalent in scale. I'm gonna give it a 9.0. I like the other one, just a one dot better. All right, we are rocking the Mizuno STG. I've got the 50S Kylie shaft on here, so pretty similar setup to what I normally like. And uh, we've got a couple adjustable weights right here in the back slideable to draw fade bias. So I've got the weight right now both in the back. So one fade, one draw. Should be neutral out. Since this place, oh, this looks beautiful. Got that carbon top, shinier look. Nice little cutter there. And we're rocking the Mizuno golf balls. These feel good. Feel is beautiful. Sound is fantastic. Look, top notch. Man, Mizuno, they, they're making some good stuff these days. I love the clean top line. Semi like 50%, like, well, maybe a little 70, 30 carbon fiber and black, shiny. So they went shiny instead of matte. Face, it looks beautiful, even from top down. You've got some alignments that you could see when you're looking over the ball. And they put the little Mizuno logo right on the top so you can line up the ball right in the middle of the club face. All in all, beautiful looking club, beautiful sounding, beautiful feel. On the driver scale, Mizuno is doing some great work. I'm gonna give this 8.8 um, .8. Mizuno. Great job, really solid. The only thing holding me back from going higher in the nines is I'm not, a, I don't like the sliding weights. I'd rather have just the insertable weights that I can maneuver. I don't like, I'm not a slider kind of guy. That's it, but that's personal preference. It's just eh. all in all, solid. All right, this is the Ping G430. Here we go. This thing absolutely looks fantastic. Here's what I love about this. We've got the black, you know, everybody's going like carbon fiber, like 50-50, or it's not even, it's more like 70-30 um, carbon fiber and then black up by the ball, which we love because we need a, I like it. Uh, I don't like any distractions as they get closer to the ball. So that's a fantastic look. I've never been a fan of these turbulators. I don't even think they do very much in terms of anything because no one else really uses them. So they're not that necessary. They're, some people love them, some people don't. It's not, I'm not a fan. I do love how their, uh, the bottom of the club works and their weighting system in the back is fantastic. The feel, the sound, and the look of it is good, minus the turbulator stuff. I didn't like that. When I was hitting it, I'll tell you what, nothing went left. Now, it could have been the grip I was using, but regardless, it was fantastic. Ball was flying, sound was great. Loved everything about what Ping did here with the G430. In the driver category, I'm gonna give this a rating of 8.6, it's good. I don't think it's the best out there. And uh, I'm just not a fan of that. Like if, you're, if you love the turbulator, it's gonna put you in the nine category. But for me, 8.6, there you go. Ping G430. Okay, <sighs> something super cool. Um, Fujikura has updated, upgraded uh, their Ventus shaft with a VelaCore Plus. So we came out to a whole new location here at the uh, 2024 PGA show to see how cool and hip and awesome. I use Fuji and Ventus, so is this better than the, the blue TR that I have? Are we upgrading from the TR even? Nope, not necessarily. Oh. TR stays in the line. Okay. So the TR Ventus is designed to fit kind of in between the original Ventus. So it's a little bit stiffer, yeah. a little bit lower torque. And so this is an upgrade from the original blue. Yep, it's the next generation. Next gen, That's okay. That's correct. So we've got all set up in the Ventus 5S. We're going Callaway, AI Smoke, Triple Diamond, in my normal setup. So this is my setup. Although I don't have the smoke yet, but I have the um, Paradigm. But it's Paradigm smoke. I'm swinging a 5S, but it doesn't feel that, it doesn't feel like a 5S. Right? Not at all. Oh, the stability. That's yeah, I can feel so. difference down here, all just holding it. Oh, 153 ball speed. Off just a 101 swing speed. That's pretty good. My smash factor is 1.51. Go, sign me up. <laughs> All right, yeah, here's the AI smoke. You see, the, the, they've lightened up the color a little bit. We've got more like a 90%, 10% top. I love the face. She's got some good definition on there. Good stuff to look at when you're over the ball. Super forgiving. You're supposed to get more distance off the miss hits. So, instead of the sweet spot, there's not a sweet spot, it's a sweet face. 
That's what it should have been named, Sweet Face. Yeah. Okay, what are we selling? My, what's the shaft gonna run me? 350 is the retail price. Oh, that's pretty good. So same as same as existing Ventus. Yeah. There's no change in price. What do you guys think of the lighter color blue? What color do you call that? Electric. Electric blue. That's good. That's yeah, good. Right? I so like it. Blue. If you're gonna go with a club a shaft head combo, I like what you got here because it it matches the accents in the paradigm. All right. So um, there's been a lot about AI smoke. As far as drivers go, I've been using the Callaway paradigm from last year as my gamer recently. So, they've upgraded AI Smoke. Love the look, love the feel, love the sound, love everything about it. I think this matched with the Fujikura Ventus Velocor Plus shaft in the driver mode. We're talking 9.6 is the rating. I mean, it's almost perfection. It's probably as high as we've gotten. This is the one so far that I'm loving the best. In the, in the driver. And Fairway Woods, I would agree, would probably be same uh, category. AI smoke.